first question is, what is your happiest memory of Newcastle? The happiest memory, I used to enjoy going to the, uh, the Majestic Dance Hall. I used to like dancing when I was younger. And we used to go there two or three times a week, down to the Downbeat Club in Newcastle, which was very good in the 60s. What is your first memory? The very first memory of Newcastle was going on the Keyside when I was a young boy, with my father and grandfather. And there was some marvellous sights on the, on the quay side then. There was a man who used to wrap himself up in chains and threw himself in the river and smash concrete flags over his, uh, over his chest and that, you know what I mean? For young, for young kids at that, that age it was uh, impressive to watch, you know? What is your favourite book? Well, I, I like Weston's Bury My Heart and Wounded Knee was one of the, one of the best ones I've read. This is a true story about the uh, American Indians. Very good book. What do you remember about your first home? Well, the, the first recollection of me, what I remember my first home, it was in Gateshead. And it was only one bedroom, and it had an outside toilet. And every time there was a cold spell, the toilet used to freeze up and the pipes all used to burst. It's a bit different the houses nowadays with central heating and all the different things you've got now. But that's my first recollection, like outside toilets, you said have a had to keep a candle on to try and keep the pipes so they wouldn't freeze up, you know, try and keep them warm. What was your favourite childhood food? I used to like jam and bread actually, like jam and bread or dripping and bread. And uh, when, when you could get bananas, I used to love bananas. Bananas in, a, in bread and butter, you know what I mean? Or bread and mulch. I used to quite like them. Pretty good. What is your favourite place in Newcastle? Favourite place? Well, sometimes I sit on the seats in Eldon Square and just watch everybody walk by, you know what I mean? Just see the world pass you by, especially when it's a fine day, it's quite relaxing.